From the unbelievable CCTV footage of a bulk carrier smashing into port, to the shocking moment a massive container ship nearly capsizes in broad daylight and so much more. Here are five ship collisions and mistakes that were caught on camera. The Kiel Canal is a crucial North German waterway connecting the North Sea to the Baltic Sea. It's about 75 miles south of the Denmark border and allows passage for about 32,000 ships each year. On August 24th of 2011, two ships got a little impatient trying to move through the canal. Now, you might think that we're watching a recording of a recording, but we're actually watching a live video feed as the two ships barrel down on each other. Our cameraman runs out to the deck moments before the smaller ship turns hard to starboard, narrowly missing the massive container ship with its bow. But they turn a little too hard, and the ship's stern collides with the bigger vessel. The smaller ship, a 226-foot tanker called the Janna, bounced off after the hit and kept moving. Aftermath footage from the container ship, a 456-foot vessel called Hermkipa, shows twisted pieces of red metal near the hold doors. According to shipwreck log, impatience wasn't the issue. Apparently, the Janna experienced rudder failure, causing it to crash into the Hermkipa. Neither ship reported any injuries, though the Janna was carrying 1,000 tons of biodiesel, which could have ended poorly if the collision had been any worse. The Singapore Strait is the body of water between the main city and the islands off of its southern coast. It stretches for 65 miles, connecting the Malacca Strait in the west with the South China Sea in the east. According to the Nippon Foundation, nearly half of all seaborne trade and about a third of the world's crude oil pass through these shipping lanes yearly. With so much international commerce relying on one area, you can imagine the impact two colliding ships almost had in 2013. A Turkish bulk carrier named Bex Halil basically pit maneuvers the smaller ship like a cop in a high-speed chase. The smaller vessel almost spins completely around as Bex lays on its horn. Whoever Chris is, they're in for one heck of a story. Singapore's Coast Guard arrived to rescue crew members from the smaller, unidentified vessel. It began sinking after the incident, though the Coast Guard didn't report any injuries. Now, colliding ships aren't the only thing people have to worry about in the Singapore Strait. Piracy has been on the uptick in recent years, with 34 incidents in 2020, 49 in 2021, and even more expected for 2022. Container ships are massive vessels and require the most skilled captains to navigate. One wrong move could spell disaster. But even then, mistakes are made and accidents happen. Back in June of 2021, a container ship named the OOCL Durban was heading for Pier 66 at the port of Kaohsiung. As it passed Pier 70, however, it collided with the bow of a ship named the Yonghuangge. This ship was docked, and the force of the collision bumped a crane, which ultimately came crashing down. Officials were quick to confirm that there were in fact two workers trapped, but both were rescued and did not suffer any injuries. They went as far to specify that one had a scratch on his arm. So, what caused the collision in the first place? Following the accident, it was reported that workers noticed the ship traveling too close and sent a message urging them to change course. Also, we know that officials have basically placed the blame on the Durban. While we don't know for sure what the cause was, our guess is some type of engine failure, a strong current, or both. 
Thankfully, at least, nobody was injured. Port Lincoln is, well, a port town in South Australia. Known for its seafood and world-famous beaches, Port Lincoln attracts people from all over the world. You can dive with sharks and swim with sea lions. You can even watch the ships come in and out of Boston Bay. Now, if you were watching the boats on October 8th of 2010, you probably got more than you bargained for. Just before 3 p.m., a Liberian bulk carrier, the Grand Rodosi, crashed into an Australian fishing boat, the Apollo S. CCTV footage captured the moment when Rodosi basically sawed Apollo in half. From the camera's POV, all seems normal on the water, but we imagine the people on the ground are in full panic mode. Grand Rodosi crawls in from the right, so slow it's almost meme-worthy. After a few harrowing seconds, it crashes clean into the Apollo S, crushing it against the pier. According to the Australian Transport Safety Bureau, Apollo S sank shortly after. Meanwhile, the Rodosi only sustained minor damage to its bow and shell plating. It's probably not that hard to crash into a naval battleship. After all, it's a pretty big target. But it's also not that hard to avoid it on the open ocean. But when the USS Fletcher was experiencing some trouble on the water, the USS Downs arrived to save the day. Now, the idea was for Downs to tow Fletcher to Anchorage for the necessary repairs, but they got a little too close when trying to connect the two ships. Alarms trigger across both ships as the Downs gets too close to the Fletcher. Crew members brace for impact as the sides of both ships scrape together. The Downs eventually clears the Fletcher. From the looks of it, the damage could have been much worse. Though it was probably pretty scary, the Downs crew kept a festive mood once they cleared the Fletcher. They joked around, blaming the Fletcher for the crash and giving interviews about the ordeal. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.